This is Matt from The Man Cave. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching with your daily devotion for January the 2nd. Let me fold this up. I, you know, I know a lot of people are watching thinking, is he just going to throw that piece of paper on the ground and walk away? I am not. Hey, today's devotion is going to be in John chapter 3. And here's the thing. It might be a very familiar verse that you're familiar with. Verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, now what was that word? Whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I love that verse. Friends, behind me is a huge flood reservoir that holds millions upon millions upon millions of gallons of water. What ends up happening is this. If you can pan out over here, when it rains, all of the rain comes off of the mountains, comes into this area where I'm at. Come on back to me, darling. Okay? And it fills this thing up. And so this thing right now behind me, you can't even grasp how deep and how wide and how long this thing is. But it's huge. And it's like when, when it rains and it floods, this thing is filled up to where I am. There's water everywhere. I mean, people, some people drowned in this thing because they think, hey, let's go swimming in the reservoir. Not a cool thing to do. But friends, do you want to know something? Do you know, uh, for Christmas, I got this really, really cool Tabasco shot glass, okay? Now, I don't drink booze, but I love Tabasco hot sauce, okay? Can you imagine trying to fill this reservoir behind me with this little glass? And you're just pouring your little Avion water and one, two, and, and, and how long would it take you to maybe just get it a quarter of the way filled? probably take you 25 years if you could do it. What's amazing is behind the camera is another reservoir equal to this one. But if you were to take that reservoir over there and this reservoir here and you added all the billions and millions of gallons of water, it's not even equivalent, okay, to a drop of how much God loves So friends, you. in Romans chapter 8, verse 35, which is a Pauline epistle, it says this. I love this text. What shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? None of those things are going to separate us from how God feels about us. Persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate me and you from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Man, God loves you so much. Here's the thing. Have you ever, has someone ever said this to you? How much do you love me? And you go, this much. Well, here's the thing. There is no separating God's arms from the left to the right, from the east to the west. Why are you telling me that God's love is so big like this reservoir? Because listen, in life, there's times that we go through that are hard, okay? It's the storms of life. Sometimes it's a calamity. Sometimes it's loss of a job. Sometimes there's a divorce. There's all these different things, okay, that enter into our lives. And sometimes we look and we think, how could God love me if he allowed this to happen? Friends, you've got to realize that God's love is so great for you. Even though you're going through something, he hasn't left you. He hasn't forsaken you. He's right beside you. He wants to guide you through those hardships. I thought early on in life in my Christian pilgrimage that I wouldn't have to suffer, that nothing bad would happen to me if I was a Christian because I wasn't discipled. But I realized that's not the truth. The truth is this. When things do happen that I don't like, okay, God never leaves me. He never forsakes me. He walks me through the valley of the shadow of death, untouched, unharmed, okay? He is with me until the very end. That is his promise. Don't be deceived by the enemy of your soul that God doesn't love you, okay? Because we are promised that things will get difficult in the end days and they are ready to So friends, don't let anyone deceive you in this life, whether it's a person or the enemy, okay? God loves you. It's been established once and for all. Hey, this is Matt from the Man Cave.